thank you for taking time this morning to, uh, to come sit with me. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you, hearing uh, some, of your, uh, some of your stories, some of your questions, some of the issues that, uh, uh, that you're facing, and, and finding out how I can be and how the federal government can be more helpful. Uh, I will say that uh, eight years ago, I got to uh, sit down with Emily um, and, uh, and go around and see, uh, see some of her patients and understand directly, even before becoming prime minister, uh, what uh, what the uh, um, the challenges that you were facing and the extraordinary service that you gave uh, it was something that Charlene uh, uh, Charlene encouraged me to do back then uh, she actually invited all three party leaders of the time to go and spend a day uh, with the life of the PSWs um, I was really glad to do it and it it was really important because it shaped my vision of things and then of course when you know when we were making investments we made a big investment in home care, uh, $6 billion in 2017 budget uh, over the following 10 years that we uh, transferred to the provinces, uh, hopeful and, and intending for that to be invested in health care and home care specifically. I think there was probably some investments, probably not nearly enough. Um, and then the pandemic hit and you know people were talking about the challenges that PSWs were facing well I had gotten to, to, to actually sit down and understand directly uh, how important um, what you did in normal times uh, were so being able to see what um, and know what how unbelievably important you were during those terrifying times and knowing that you were continuing while we were all hunkered down at home uh, to leave your families to go and serve the most vulnerable and be incredibly vulnerable yourselves uh, is what why Canadians are recognizing you as heroes uh, but it's not enough to just say wow you were heroes uh, we have to make sure we treat you and respect you uh, as the heroes you are and that means uh, increasing uh, your hourly wages. Um, that means making sure uh, that you can work in dignified working conditions and that there is, uh, there is an influx of, of new workers coming to take on, uh, take on the roles so you're not having to do uh, more hours and more jobs than you need to. Uh, and at the same time making sure that you have access to a secure and dignified retirement. Um, this is something that is fundamental because you know, what the pandemic showed us is we had our most vulnerable, our seniors, being treated for by people who were themselves very vulnerable. Vulnerable economically, vulnerable in uh, various, various situations. Many of you uh, new Canadians, many of you uh, in, in, in various challenges. These are things that we have to fix if we want to be the kind of country that we need to be now. As a federal government, um, there are things that we can do and have done, but a lot of it involves working with the provinces uh, to ensure uh, that they're actually not meeting the kinds of standards and investing the kind of uh, supports that are necessary. And uh, I'm looking forward to this as an opportunity to hear directly from you so I can carry your stories into the conversations I'm having, both with Canadians about how important what it is that you all do is, but also with other orders of government on how necessary it is for them to be stepping up as well as the federal government in partnership with the federal government uh, to be able to make sure uh, that you are able to do um, what we need you to do and what you've chosen to do. I mean, this story that is most heartbreaking for me is all of you chose this career, chose to serve, chose to help, chose to be there for people who need you desperately. And as a society, as a country, we should be celebrating you and thanking you for taking care of our elders and our most vulnerable that you know so many of us aren't able to do or wouldn't be able to do and you have the compassion the empathy and the and the ability to do that and for us to take that for granted as a society and sort of say okay well no we will we'll let you keep doing it but you know we're not going to take care of you while you do that 
is all wrong. And that's, and that's why I'm looking forward to hearing from you all and carrying what you say uh, into the work that uh, we all need to continue to do as a country uh, to make sure that you're supported. So, merci tellement d'être ici aujourd'hui. Merci d'avoir partagé uh, déjà quelques histoires avec moi et j'ai bien hâte d'en entendre plus. C'est un moment important pour nous tous. Thank you all for being here.